Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Sky. I'm 19 years old and wow, I have done at least one Duolingo lesson every single day for an entire year. Now, am I fluent in Spanish? We will find out. It was this time last year that I was actually on holiday in Mallorca. I had just finished my A-levels, therefore had nothing to revise anymore. I was like officially done with school forever. And I was thinking and still am thinking of possibly staying abroad for a couple of months. So I thought whilst I'm here, you know, might as well just download Duolingo and I thought I'll just start learning Spanish. It can't hurt, can it? And then one year later, here we are, still here, still doing it. Originally when I first started, I did five or six lessons per day. I used to try and do the full circle. And then after about 40 days, I was like, nah. That takes too long, especially with the lives. Like you could run out of lives by that point. So I would just do one lesson per day. However, sometimes I didn't actually do a lesson because like I'd start the lesson and I'd get down to my last two lives and I was sort of struggling with it or I'd made a stupid mistake or something. So I would just quit the lesson and I'd go on to what they made an update with, which was the new stories, which honestly is so much better. It's like reading a really short story and you just fill in the blanks to sentences. If you complete one of those, it will maintain your streak as well. So how much have I actually done? Right, can I show you this here? So there we are officially, 372 days. This is the start, obviously I need to go back over a few of them. So that's when I've done all of them. And then this is where I'm up to now. So I'm on to level four with those and only on to level three with these. I'm not even at stage three yet after doing it every day for a year. No, I'm not fluent. Absolutely nowhere near. I think I could understand a few basics. If somebody spoke to me in Spanish, I would have absolutely no idea what they were talking about. If somebody wrote something down, I could probably pick out a few words and have a little bit of a guess. However, not anything very advanced. I cannot speak it at all. To be honest, if I really wanted to try, like I'd push it a bit more, like I'd watch Spanish programs and stuff and I'd do more than what I was doing. But I thought it was a nice little experiment to see how far you could actually get just by doing one per day. Obviously not very far. I think it would take at least a decade to get to the end of the program and therefore be fluent. I know, I don't know if you would be fluent by getting to the end of the program, but you would obviously be a lot better than I am. But you would obviously be a lot better than I am right now. Like I said, I would push it a bit further if I was properly trying, you know, I'd watch films, I'd read books, etc. But overall, this has been quite interesting and fun and I probably will continue with it as it helps me to like maintain routine in my day. And you know, it's not too challenging, it's not too stressful. Yo tengo una mesa. I have a table. Probably not pronouncing that right at all and probably also makes no sense. But I like thinking like I'm doing something. Also, if I was gonna try and push it a bit further, I'd obviously write things down and like pick up on all the little tricks and stuff. You know, I haven't bothered to do that. Oh well. So this is how many stories I've done. They're so fun. And after, uh, you know, stage three, this is how many I've got left. <laughs> so yes. At least a decade, I'd say. <laughs> anyway, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.